How do you do? This is my blog for today. I want to ask you a question. Do you hear the Democrats all complaining and screaming and yelling in violent protest that the, that the Tea Party people are the biggest threats to the, to, the, uh, to the survival of this country? That somehow they're going to create violence by walking around? That somehow the, the kind of language they're using is so incendiary that they're going to all of a sudden the, the whole country is going to be on fire with hate and venom and hostility because these people are going for a walk. Now, did you ever hear one word they said that would create violence? They never even said that one word against Barack Obama personally. When the Democrats were complaining against President Bush, they said vicious, violent things. They had signs all over the parades, kill a murderer. And they were creating hate for him in a way that would that actually looked like they would be happy to see him dead because the half of their signs said so. So when Two million people uh, hanging up signs full of hate and hostility that we really could create violence. They couldn't see anything wrong with it. You never heard a complaint. But all of a sudden, when people, mostly elderly people, are walking around with arthritis, half of them are in wheelchairs, the rest are, are walking around thanking God that they could carry a sign. The sign is faltering and hanging a little because they're too old to carry it. And they never said one word of hostility. Everything they say about Barack Obama has nothing to do with him personally. They didn't attack him as a human being. They didn't try to create any venom or hate for him personally. They disagree with his policy because they're worried about their own health care or, the, or their social security or about the taxes. Is this so terrible? If you disagree about taxes or social security or health care that makes you a person who wants to destroy America or create violence, the only violence they feel is to their own careers because they feel they're so popular and they say to themselves, if so popular, don't make so much noise because it's getting too popular. And they have no complaint against what they're saying because they can't answer them intelligently. So they say to themselves, the smartest thing is to do is to try to demonize them and destroy them by inventing things they never said or never did. All of a sudden, protesting. How come protesting was so beautiful an idea, so patriotic a responsibility in the middle of the Vietnamese war when Hillary Clinton said, they're not going to stop me from talking. This is patriotism, to disagree with policy. This is the essence of patriotism. There was nothing wrong that they could find about anything like Bill Lair's bombing buildings of Barack Obama being his partner and his friendship and his buddyship all of his life. Barack Obama could tolerate a bomber and a murderer, but there's nothing so wrong with that. There was nothing wrong with sitting in a church and watching his, his priest keep saying vicious, horrible things against America, against white people, against this country, incendiary things that really could create violence. There's nothing wrong with that. They saw nothing wrong with anything except the Tea Party people who are gone for a walk. These are the only people who became a threat to America. How come Bill Clinton during the Vietnamese War with protesting the government and the war in foreign countries and creating hate for America all over the world. There's nothing wrong with that. That can't create any bad feelings. Everything these people did, let's be honest about it. Barack Obama was a community organizer. Not only was he going on speeches and, and making speeches and going for walks, but he was organizing the walks and he was organizing the protests. He was in favor of protesting. That's why you call him a community organizer. If there was nothing to organize, he wouldn't be a community organizer. He was organizing resentment. He was organizing protest and he was doing it. He had every right to do it. He had, and those, everybody has a right to do anything and say anything. That's what America is all about. About. And nobody has a right to claim that the language that these people used, which was vulgar and dirty and filthy and disgusting, and they were even bombing buildings, and people who are associated with these kind of protests all their lives who are threatening America, they have a right to complain against a bunch of old people going for a walk and say, these people are the menace to society. This is the most disgusting demonization of decent human beings. They ought to be ashamed of themselves. If you made a living all your life from protesting in ugly, violent ways, you should thank God that civilized people are going for a walk and they're not creating hostility. They're creating love and brotherhood because they're practicing American democracy and they're making it work in a peaceful way, not in the ugly, vulgar, disgusting ways that you people did it.